Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are creating a bridge between our Minecraft server and our Discord server. So players on your Minecraft server can communicate with the people on your Discord and also the other way around. This requires us to go into the Discord developer portal and set up our own application or bot. Once that is done, we can add it to our Discord server and using the Discord SRV plugin on our Minecraft server, we can then connect everything together. All the links will be in the video description. So let's dive right in. Let's start by adding the Discord SRV plugin to our server. I already have my server set up. I'm going to stop it for now. It is a 1.19.2 version and looking under the mod section, you can see that Spigot is already installed. So go to the Spigot MC page. Let's click on download and it should automatically start downloading. While this is downloading, I'm going to go into my file manager, into plugins, and this is where we're going to drop our plugin. I'm going to go to upload, select files, and then select it from my downloads folder, give it a moment to upload, and then click on done. So I'm going to start my server and go into the web console and see, oh, well, give it a moment, start my server. Well, it's starting. Yes. Now we're going to go into our web console and see if it actually loads up the plugin. You can see that it started, but it doesn't have the proper bot token. So it actually is disabled at the moment, but it did create all the configuration files that we need. I'm going back to my dashboard, stop the server because the plugin is disabled. And now when we go to our file manager, back to our plugins folder, there should be a folder called Discord SRV. And this has all the files that we need and mainly the config.yml. So I'll leave this open because I know we need to add some stuff here. For example, the bot token, so let's start creating our Discord bot. So we're going to go to discord.com slash developers slash applications, and then click on new application. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to be calling it Discord SRV, then agree and click on create. Then we're going to select bot here on the left and click on add bot. Let's click on yes, do it. And then we have to enable the server members intent. So let's enable this. and save the changes. For security purposes, tokens can only be viewed once when created. If you forgot or lost access to your token, please regenerate a new one. So let's reset the token. Yes, do it. I have to fill in my two-factor authentication. Of course, if you don't have two-factor authentication, you probably won't see that pop up. I'm going to copy my token. If you want to, you can also click on the icon and change the icon, and this will also represent inside of the Discord server. I will not do that at this moment. I'm quickly putting this in a text file so I don't lose it. Then let's go to general information and also copy our application ID. And I also add that to the text document. So I know the token and the app ID. Then we have to go to a link and this will also be in the video description. We have to add our application ID to the end of the link. So I'm going to copy this, paste that here and then press enter. So I'm just clicking the drop down menu. I can choose from all my servers and I'm selecting the Discord standalone, which is my testing server. Then click on continue, then authorize as administrator, and then you should have authorized your Discord bot to your Discord server. So then going to our Discord standalone server, you can see indeed it's currently offline, but the bot is added to the server. Let's go into our settings, go to advanced, and then make sure developer mode is turned on. We need to get the channel IDs, and if you don't have developer mode turned on, you are not able to get these. So let's right click on the general channel and do copy ID. We're going back to our Discord SRV config file and it says here channels. We're going to delete these zeros, paste our channel ID and where it says bot token. Let's go back to the text file. Let's copy the bot token and let's paste that also in between here. Let's first of all save and exit. Let's start up our server and see if it still disables our plugin. It shouldn't because now we actually have a token and a channel ID. So let's go to the web console while it's booting up and let's see what it's telling us. We get a message. It isn't disabled at the moment, so this is good. It says found server. It found several channels. And it also says there's no console output, which we didn't set at the moment. We can set that for a different channel. Once you get this working, you should be able to configure the rest of the plugin. So let's take a look. Server has started. Bot is online. This is good. So let's connect to our server and see what happens. Looking at the Discord channel, you can also see zero out of 20 players, which is the player cap that I have on this server. How many unique players ever joined? How long the server has been online? And it hasn't updated, so it still says zero minutes. 
you can see this information inside of the general channel. So I'm going to get the IP address from my dashboard and then directly connect to the server. DevX Academy joined the server for the first time. So let's do slash Discord. It gives us a message saying join us on Discord, but it has the wrong link. So let's quickly change this. But I go to Discord standalone, invite people, edit the invite link, say it never expires, it has no limits, and then we're going to generate a new link. Copy. Let's go back to our plugins folder, Discord SRV, and open up the config. And this is the invite link. We could have done that earlier. Let's add the invite link right here and then save and exit. So now when I say hello, you can see here, it says Tabex Academy, hello. You can see all the chat right on your Discord in real time. So if you're an administrator or a moderator, this is super valuable because you can instantly see everything that's going on in the server chat. So if people are complaining about cheaters or needing assistance with something, you can see it without even being connected to the server. I had some issues with the messages getting delivered from Discord to my server. So what I did, go to File Manager, Plugins, Discord, Discord SRV, Config, and then scroll down. This is by default set to false, the chat message delivery. I don't know if you have to do this, but if you set this to true, everything seems to be working. After making that change, you can see here, I restarted my server. If I now say hello here, it also shows inside of the game. So if I say hi, this is still working, Tabex Academy. It says hi, and I'm getting killed in the background. <laughs> so you can also see, you can already see it here, Tabex was shot by a skeleton, but you can see that it also displays the death messages. And you can configure this all through the configuration. The Discord SRV plugin is quite in-depth, so I cannot go through all the configuration and all the options that you have. It also really depends on what kind of server you're trying to set up. But having this basic link between your Discord server, the bot, and the Minecraft server should make it a lot easier to go into the configuration of Discord SRV and see other options or configurations that you would like to edit or apply to your server. For example, there's a voice module or option which will automatically add you to a Discord channel once you get close to people inside of the game, which could be really interesting. Of course, once again, depending on what kind of server you're trying to set up. I will link to the official wiki in the description. There you can find out all the options and things that you can do other than this basic setup that we've done today. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is unclear, you can leave a comment down below or check the wiki. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.